Hey guys, well, I'm gonna take you back because that's what I like to talk about. I like to talk about a lot of old back in the day stories. Now, I remember back in the day going out to the clubs with me and my friends. Now, when we used to go out, we used to go out in jogging suits. We never wore some, cla some crazy slacks or you know, fancy shoes and stuff like that. We had brand new sneakers on and velour jogging suits and we always looked good. So that's what always caught the girls' attention. When we walked in, we were all good looking guys. We walked in with a bunch, maybe five, six guys, and we had a great time. We go straight to the bar, we stand at the bar, order a bottle, order a drink, whatever we did, and we just be drinking, hanging out, having a good time. Now, back at these days, you also had other crews doing the same thing. But there was one night in Pastels we went. Now, let me talk about Pastels quick. Pastels was a bar, a discotheque that was in Bay Ridge. A guy by the name of Ali Shades owned this disco. It was a great time, a great era in the 80s, the 90s, uh, everyone went to pastels, had a great time, danced the night away, drank, and had a lot of fun. Ali Shades was a wise guy with the Genovese crime family. He was a nice guy, well-respected throughout the whole New York area. Everybody knew him. He also had a part of the Brown Derby and 101 restaurant in Bay Ridge. He was a Bay Ridge guy that owned a lot of clubs. Now, Getting back to pastels, we're hanging out at the bar. Now, all you needed was that one guy to stare at you wrong. Now, if someone stared at you and they kept on staring, it was like, okay, this guy wants trouble, there's a fight. Now, it was me, Tommy Reynolds, Paulie G, Fabrizio. Joe Benanti was with us that night. We were in pastels, we're at the bar, we're hanging out. And it's about two or three of these guys. They're looking at us, they're staring. We got a couple of girls around us. Now, when I went out, I was the fun guy out of my friends. My friends were very serious. So I was the fun guy where I would grab a girl. Hey, come here, hang out over here. Sit down with us, you know, talk to me. What's your name? Hey, look, this is my friend Paulie, my friend Tommy, my friend Fabrizio. Look at Joe Benanti's over here. He's an old timer, you know, and I would talk to them. And I would be the funny, silly guy making the group, bringing in the group and hanging out. But this is what I did. And we all had fun. I would dance with them and yeah, watch, I'm gonna dance with you. And we'd be dancing and having fun and stuff like that. But these guys were staring at us and they're looking at Reynolds and Reynolds ain't turning his head. And he's staring at them and they're staring at the wrong guy. Now, as he's staring at them, Reynolds just says, what the fuck are you looking at? And the guy says, you. The worst thing the guy could say, okay? He don't even know what he's dealing with. I got Paulie G over here. Fabrizio's a tough kid with his hands. Tommy Reynolds is a fucking nut job. And I'm over there, and I'm going with the flow. I'm saying? So, they come over, we walk over towards them. What are you looking at? Tommy Reynolds looks in his face, boom, Tommy hits him, bang. That's it, it's over. We go over, we start hitting guys, bang, bang, bang. The whole place is in an uproar. Joe Benanti's like this, okay? Paulie G takes out his blade, he's stabbing a guy, and the place was a fucking mess. The next day, Ali Shades, comes to Sparrow and he says, these fucking guys are out of their mind. I don't want them in my club no more. Sparrow says, what happened? He explains his story. We tell him it was us, we were there. These guys started. Uh, we didn't know, you know, what was gonna happen. It wasn't planned. And he says, well, I don't want them in here no more. So we get barred from pastels for about maybe a month until we show our face again. Ali Shades forgets about it, and he lets us back in. And when he lets us back in, the same thing happens again. 
he let us back in. And what happens? We're hanging out at the bar and we're having a good time. And we end up beating up another crew of kids. So wherever we went, there was always a fight and a brawl. It's just what happened back in the day. Now, back in the day, you had clubs like Limelight, the Palladium, the Underground, Club USA. It was a great time to have fun. All the disco music was going out. All the beautiful people were out there dancing, mingling, having fun. And I was, I was the one to always grab the girl, hang out. And, you know, what's your name? This is my friend Tommy. This is Paulie. This is Joey. This is Fabrizio. You know, here's Joe Benanti. And we would just have a great time. And at the end of those nights, back in the day, we would also go to an after hours where you could, after four o'clock in the morning, the after hours would open up and you would go over there and sit at a bar and have drinks. And then from there, you will go to breakfast. You had the diners where you go to breakfast and everyone would sit down and relax and you would have other crews and they would know you and you would know them and they'd be staring at you, you'd be staring at them. But there was some kind of mutual respect sometimes. You know, people would come over, if you knew somebody, hey Jimmy, how you doing? They give you a kiss hello. Hey Paulie, hey Joe, how are you? But this is how the neighborhoods were back in the day. It was a different time, a different place, a different era. But looking back, those memories were great memories and great times. There's a lot more better times than they were today with all this craziness going on. But that's a bad damn new story for today. Until I see you again, maybe I'll see you over the weekend. Have a good weekend. You and your family and your loved ones, stay safe. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. 13,000 you guys gave me. I love you. I love you so much. Forget it. And I got t-shirts, the mugs, the hats. They just came in. So I'm going to be throwing a couple of them out to you guys. And I appreciate you so much, man. I love the love you've been sending me. Thank you. And I'll see you soon. Everybody have a great weekend. Bye.